I am at, this is my house, and uh, I want to go over my go-to uh, form of heat. We're using radiant, in-floor radiant heat. This is my preferred method. So we've installed sleepers, inch and a half sleepers. We basically ripped two by four and a half, and they're spaced 10 inches on center. And then the tubing is stapled down in between there. This tubing will be, will be take uh, hot water, and that water will be at a temperature of probably about 95, 96 degrees. We're choosing a uh, engineered three-quarter inch uh, white oak character grade flooring. You know, hardwood is uh, not a bad, it's not gonna insulate. It doesn't have a, a big R value. It's gonna allow that heat to come up. This, this is radiant heat versus convection, which is what uh, a warm air system would be. The difference is that the bottom layer here will be, you know, 90 degrees, and the middle layer will be 80 and then 70 and then 60 up at the top. So when you have convection, it's the opposite. So it's 90 up at the ceiling and then it's 80 and then 70 and then it's 60 down here. When you have radiant, that warmth just comes right through your body. So we're gonna follow up with more video and then I'm gonna show you downstairs, I'm gonna show you the mechanical room where all this radiant comes together. So this is the mechanical room. You can see we've, uh, we've put on uh, three quarter inch plywood, MDO, painted it black so that everything shines. And this is all a radiant distribution system. So the boiler will make hot water. That hot water will actually get mixed with some cold water because we want, the boiler's gonna make two different temperatures of water. We're gonna make, uh, 98 degree water for the radiant, but we're gonna make 130 degree water for hydro air on the second floor. And then the third thing we're gonna make is hot water for the domestic supply. So I'm pretty particular about how I want these manifolds. And if you can see here, we've drilled the holes on an angle so that that tubing, and you can see it there, there's actually a few in, the tubing is pointed in the right direction for that manifold. So what I did for the guys is I made them a jig. So I spaced the holes uh, according to that manifold. And we did that on a drill press with the Forstner bit. And then I, we ripped it on an angle. So then I can screw it in on a level line and plunge that router bit right through and create really clean looking angled holes. That way all that tubing comes through and, and it's bent right in there already and, and connects to the manifold. So we're gonna do the same thing for the uh, PEX distribution, which will be on this wall. That's gonna be uh, a 36 port uh, mana block, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna mount this on the wall. We're gonna drill our angled holes. The tubing will come through the wall from two sides, and it'll be in here. So we'll, uh, I'll keep you posted on that.